Well, this morning, storms quickly led to problems on city streets, rural roads, and even freeway systems. Yeah, some streets just swallowed by water, and that led to hundreds of complaints. Michelle Fiore live in Mequon, where there are concerns about a rising river. Well, Courtney and Shannon, the river is already high here in Mequon, and starting tomorrow, it's under a flood warning. But today's worries were focused on the roads around Milwaukee. From irritating puddles to deep standing water, if you were driving or walking, you likely got splashed. See, straight over here, it's all blocked up. And I gotta get in the middle of the street and walk. John Reed's walking to the corner store for lunch on the north side. With his heavy coat on and his hood up, he's not messing around. And you got boots on too? You got boots on too. You better have boots on or you're in big trouble. Tennis shoes wouldn't be a good idea. Milwaukee DPW took over 60 complaints about surface ponding as of 8 a.m. By noon, that increased to more than 500 calls. From the north side to the south side and beyond, street flooding complicated the commute. A question from drivers, do you go through the water or not? Mechanics say as little as a foot of water can do significant damage to your car, depending on its make and model. A lot of times they put the engine computer right on the floor of your car, so that's as deep a water as you can go through. Christian Bilgo says you can't tell how deep the water is just by looking at it, so as a rule, try to avoid it. But if you find you have to drive through it... Don't go too fast through the puddles. You don't want a lot of water splashing up on your engine, and it can uh, affect your car. It can make it die out. Mechanics say cars that stall because of flooding often can't be repaired. Now, coming up at 6, what businesses here along the river are doing in preparation for tomorrow's flood warning. We're live in Mequon. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Michelle. Cars floated away in floodwaters in Ozaki County. These pictures coming to us from the sheriff's office. This was a section of I-43 southbound at County Road H in Port Washington. The highway has since been cleared and reopened. All drivers and passengers are safely 